Joining me now is someone who we could have used on stage with us at the karaoke event, Jessica Irish, Director of Choirs for Annandale High School. Welcome. Hi. So you saw the karaoke <laughs> performance. What What is your critique? Honestly, I thought it was pretty good. There were a lot of good voices in there, and it... You know, it makes me wonder if some of these folks were in choirs in Fairfax County Public Schools. <laughs> well, perhaps some of us were. I, I wasn't, but um, it's, as I finally referred to it, our annual humiliation event. So um, we do it with a smile on our face, though, because it is for a good, very good cause. So you have just started the new school year. Right. Um, how many years have you been teaching? This is my 13th, lucky 13. Very good. <laughs> all, of, all of them for Fairfax County Public Schools. And have you been in Annandale the whole time? Or? Um, no, this is my third year at Annandale High School. And previously, before that, I taught at Westfield High School. Okay. Um, and then before that, I taught a year of middle school at Hughes Middle School in Reston. Very so, good. Yeah. Now, how do you get ready for a new school year? Well, it's funny. It's not like I sit down one day and go, now I'm going to get ready for the school year. It's kind of just this continuing thing, you know. It starts with preparation in the previous school year, way before the end of the school year even happens. Mm -hmm. And um, I know when you're an arts teacher, you know, you get your inspiration in different places. Mm -hmm. And for me, a lot of my prep work happens in the summertime. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, recharge my batteries and use it as time to explore uh, new music. So, yeah, it's an ongoing process. And so where do you find your inspiration? Is it through new music or I other ways? Lot, yeah, I do a lot of listening. I go to a lot of concerts. Um, I go to reading sessions where music publishers put out new music. And typically they, have, mm. they hire a conductor, a choral director, to come in. Um, sometimes it's been uh, peers of mine in mm -hmm. Fairfax County um, and, you know, a professional accompanist. And we sing through new music. And we have a chance to see what it feels like to sing, what concepts we could teach with this particular music, and how it would best suit our students, and whether or not it's a quality piece of music, mm -hmm. and things like that. So. That's fascinating, because I never yeah. knew that aspect of mm -hmm. your... It's your... like, it's music shopping. Music? <laughs> yeah. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, Jessica, how many how many classes do you teach at Annandale? I have five. I mm -hmm. have a full course load. And uh, so, it's technically, it combines into four ensembles. Uh, one of my classes is called Concert Choir mm -hmm. and it's split. There's a men's section and a women's section so that's two different classes but they com often combine. Mm -hmm. um, and then I have an advanced women's chorus, an advanced men's chorus, and then I have an advanced mixed chorus called the Annandale Singers. Oh that's terrific. Now yeah. what do you love about your job? About the kids. Teaching? The kids. Yeah. I mean that's that's what it is. I mean of course I love the music um, and that's my medium with with my students but you know I'm in it for the kids <laughs> have, have kids changed over time since you started teaching no I mean I think some people would maybe argue with me <laughs> over that but no I think kids are generally the same I think um, you know there are different things in the world now that they're responding to mm -hmm. technology mm -hmm. and so forth um, at our school for example you know they're very excited about an acceptable use policy that we have this year for the technology right um, BYOD as we right. finally referred to exactly it. it's very different and very new and I think we're all gonna have to adjust to it but kids are kids um, and I think this the the things that they're passionate about, they get excited about. The mm -hmm. things that they're not so passionate about, they need a little bit of help. Right. You know, and right. teenagers are great. Uh, they come in one day and they're they're feeling very playful. The next day, they're they're very serious and very adult-like, <laughs> and you adapt. You know. Absolutely. What are some of the things that you like? You start out with the, this, these groups of children, these kids, these mm -hmm. teenagers at the beginning of the year. What do you hope to achieve by the end of the year? You know, I was thinking about this today um, in, since the start of the school year, and I a actually was talking with my students, what do you hope to achieve by the end of the year? We were making lists on the board and things. And I think with what I teach, you know, of course there are standards. Um, we have standards of learning in chorus. Mm -hmm. We don't have an SOL test that we take other than our assessment that we have, our choral performance assessment in the spring. Um, but there are standards and all these things, of course, we want them to learn that are in our program of studies. Mm -hmm. But the special thing about what I teach is it's not just what you learn. It's what you experience, what you feel, and what you're able to do mm. as a result of it. It's a doing kind of a class. Right. And um, so, I mean, I want my, my, my students 
to learn, of course, at the highest level possible for each one of them. But I want them to experience great music. I want the, them to experience the community that comes with being a part of a choir and a part of our choral family, we call it, in Annandale High School. So it's, it's the experience that we're going for. That's, it's, you make it sound so wonderful. I want to sign up for one of your classes. <laughs> Maybe I'll drop in sometime to see you. That'd be great. Come thank, on over anytime. <laughs> thank you so much for sharing. Yeah.